Pst. Kira. Good morning, boys. Good morning, boys. Good morning, boys. Alright, what's up Flipsiders? So today is day one back at vlogging. Very excited, very happy to be back. Today was the day that I was planning on getting back to vlogs because yesterday I got in this new camera, the Sony RX100 Mark V, uh, because it was supposed to do like really awesome slow motion and I was going to incorporate a lot of like slow motion mon montages and stuff in my vlogs, but I tried it out really underwhelmed not very impressed with it whatsoever i don't think it's worth the price tag um so taking it back and going to get my money back and then uh yeah we'll we'll catch up a little bit so that whole transaction actually went significantly smoother than i was expecting it to uh, I was just in and out and now i'm out here because i passed this place on the way to best buy and i always kind of forget it's out here it's actually where we filmed a lot of the first Pokemon. Uh, there's an area up there on that rock itself where it flattens out a little bit and that's where I meet Jamie in the first Pokemon. Anyway, that's the last time I was up here. That may not be true, but it's just cool. There's a lot of rocks. Usually to get to these kind of rocks you gotta hike super far to get to it. But these are right here and I wanted to take a picture of the rocks. So, man, I'm like already out of breath. <laughs> I don't, I don't cardio. So something you may realize at the moment is it's actually daytime out, which is not the time that I'm usually awake. Well, it wasn't usually the time I was usually awake because I was working graveyard, but since my last video that I posted on this channel, I actually left my job. I'm not going to go into why or any details about it, really don't want to talk about it anymore, but I left my job. Uh, I felt like it was what I what I had to do, I felt like it was the right thing to do, and so I did it. And now. I am currently on the job hunt. Um, I've turned down a couple offers from places that I, uh, I don't know, just, I just wanted to try to find the right fit. And I'm at a place right now where I can take a little time to try to find a good fit. And so I, um, I've turned down a couple places and I've just really been praying about it and trying to go in a, in a good direction, in the direction that God would want me to go. And I actually might have the potential uh, for a really cool, uh, for a really neat position that I'm actually really excited about in video. Um, that's all I'll say about it for now because it's not even close to a done thing, but is exciting. New opportunities right around the corner. Life is good. <laughs> Great work, though. Thank you, I appreciate that. We've uh, we've already been at this for like three hours, three or four hours. <laughs> yeah, there's really no end in sight at this point. Ugh. Professionals, though. Super. Yo. This is like the second time we've painted my room in the past. <laughs> yeah, we just painted. I'll show you. <laughs> Honestly. Huh? These walls were pitch black before. Oh. <laughs> That's how good we did. Oh, oh. No. I was gonna say it was somebody else's. Oh, it is. <laughs> Making new friends is scary. <laughs> wrong. wrong. So You're so wrong. wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I've been working really hard, as you can see. You don't get covered in paint like this unless you are really working. <laughs> really working hard. It's just everywhere. My pants. They were black also. <laughs> now they're not. Now they're not. I can't stand you sometimes. How's it going, little drummer boy? Whoa. It's super good. I think it's done. I think we're ready to paint. That is going to- No! Ah! Oh, man. 
I was just gonna like contemplate how mm -hmm. painful this is gonna be to take out later. Mm -hmm. And now you've made it. You've gone and done a bad thing. Done a bad thing. There's Ori. <laughs> Your hands. <laughs> what are you even doing? Not long enough <laughs> to get to the bottom. <laughs> oh man! You already got it on the card over here. That wasn't me. Who was it? <laughs> oh, right. The same person who painted your face. Oh, I hate that guy. We've been working very hard. I did? Hard. We've been working very hard. Pay attention to me. Oh. I did that whole wall. Did you? The whole thing. It looks exactly the same color as... Actually, it totally doesn't. You can tell by the trim of this. <laughs> that I did... <laughs> How long did it take you? Like, not that long. It took you like forever. It took you forever. It's because I did a whole wall. I did the entire did trim of the entire room. One corner. Two corners. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much. I can't. <laughs> I'm so tired. Your mom is tired. Probably. Jacob's uh, pausing a check. Very nonchalantly. Hey, man. Hey, bro. What's up? What were you What were you doing over there? Doing over where? Huh? Huh? Who? Huh? There's a Jack in the Box over there. What? When? This since you brought it so we can vlog, I figured I'd vlog your banking trip. Oh, bro. Yeah. That was the best. Did you get the Did you get the illegal thing? Dude. Sheesh. Well, I just wanted to know if I had to cut that out. But yes, I did. Okay, good. Wait. No. Bad. I mean, I didn't. Good. I mean, I did. You hungry? Yeah. No, you're not. Nah. <laughs> Where are we going? Where's the capital? That way. Which way? It's at the beginning of the sentence. That's a green one. Ugh, I have a headache. Who? <laughs> Where? Five dollars every taco? Oh, wait. <laughs> that sounds like a horrible deal. Yeah, you're covered in paint. Man, I'm not covered in it. It's, a lot of it's gone away. There's a little bit right there, some right here, right here, right here. I got some on my arms, some on my chest. I can't see it on your chest. Monty and I, uh, that's Monty. Hey! Oh, dude! Dude. I got a haircut. <laughs> I just raised the screen and you're like, oh yeah. It's all gone now. Uh, we went and caught some Pokemon. A lot. Did we do that? I mean, we didn't, we're not do. Monty and I got pulled over for catching Pokemon. We didn't get pulled over. We were already pulled over. They just pulled up behind us. They thought we were loitering and doing drugs. We were only doing half of that. Drugs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> But uh, she was really nice and we yeah. chatted with her. She thought she saw Monty the, the other day. She apparently I have a doppelganger. She would pulled someone Whatever over that means. and somebody just like Monty apparently. That's why I cut my hair. Was sitting in the passenger seat. Because it was me. <laughs> and she's like, I pulled you over yesterday. And Monty's like, no. <laughs> Did she? No. No. So yeah, we were really hungry and I told Monty we get Denny's like weeks ago. Like six weeks ago. And then we were gonna go and he got his shoes on and everything and I was like, never mind. It's so funny to me. I think this is gonna be the end of the video. Why? <laughs> okay. I just got in it. <laughs> You're right. Well, that's what I was gonna end because we peaked. Ah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like the clip before this was the peak, and now this is the declining yeah. action. No, that's what I thought you meant. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. This is the ending. We ever think it's boring. All right, we'll film more later. Good morning, guys. So it is now Friday, March 16th or 17th or something like that. Uh, 17th. And here at the gym, going to get in a solid leg day today, going heavy. Maybe I'm going to try 330 pounds squats for five sets of two. We shall see how that goes. Not, I'm a little unsure, but we're gonna try it. And then next leg day, we're gonna go for a new squat max, which we haven't done since the beginning of the year. So very excited uh, for the progress I'm making there. But I wanted to talk about first, before I head in there, something that just happened, which is so cool. And so I was driving to the gym and uh, I saw this dude walking on the side of the road and my initial gut thing was, I should pick this dude up 
and take him wherever he's going. Cause I'm, I'm going that way anyway. I really have no excuse. Uh, but I kept driving, right? Like, is my tendency when I feel like I should stop for some reason. And so, I was just driving down the road, and I just, <sighs> I felt God tell me to go pick the guy up. And I'm like, I don't want to go pick the guy up. I just want to go work out. But then I'm, it just, I just felt like I had to go pick this guy up. And so I even let out an audible sigh. I'm like, fine, I'll go pick him up, right? So I turn around, uh, drive back to where he was walking, and I, I yelled at him like, hey, man, do you need a ride? He just needed a ride down the street. Uh, that's all he was doing. So he got in the car. Apparently, dude is from Florida just moved here and was looking for a church. He's <laughs> looking for a church. And so I got to invite him to mine. I gave him my phone number, told him I'd take him up, uh, drive him up to Dayton with me when, when I go to church on Sundays and Wednesdays, you know, if he needs a ride for the first little bit till he gets settled. <laughs> but that's just like God and something that he would do because I didn't want to pick him up and he just put it on my heart. He's like, Jacob, stop being dumb. Go pick this dude up. And since I did that, of course, this dude is looking for a church, and, you know, I was able to give him my information and tell him a little bit about the area and give him a church that he could go to. <laughs> so, I just want to share that because it's just cool. You never know the reason why God's putting something on your heart to do something. And, you know, so many times he puts things on my heart, and I just keep on driving or I, or I ignore it because it, you know, it doesn't sync up with my plan for the day or it, it could be uncomfortable or something. But every time that I do go out and follow what, what he's put on my heart, it's for a purpose and it, it's become so clear and it's just, you feel better afterwards because you don't feel like you have to push down this burden, <laughs> burden, um, and, and it's just a good feeling, knowing that you're you're doing, you know, you're submitting yourself to what God has asked you to do, and you know, and now, he, I mean, He has a reason for the things that He does and the things that He He wants us to do. So, just be open to that, guys. And I just want to encourage you to, if you feel like God's putting something in your heart, to go out and do it. Go out and talk to that person, or give that person a ride, or whatever. It's something that I need to work on in my own life, but it's just cool when you when you act on that and you. Um, sometimes you won't see like immediate benefits of that, but um, there are times when you will. Just it just becomes so clear why, you know, God had you do something. So pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna go hit a leg workout, and then tonight I'm going with my friend Mackenzie uh, to go see a movie. Uh, we're gonna go see Beauty and the Beast in Reno today, so that should be fun. Oh, and I have a phone call today um, from a company that. Um, I may have like a potential employment opportunity with, but it would require me to move, which I'd be willing to, potentially, um, but it'll be good to talk to this guy and kind of touch base and kind of figure out exactly what's going on with everything. So that is happening today. Then we're going to go to the movies, and it should be a wonderful day. I'm going to start doing this thing with the vlogs where I put two days together, upload every other day. That's what I want to do. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Let me know how you guys like this. They're going to be longer videos because I'm going to be filming for two days, but hope you guys like it. I'm out. <laughs> so see you guys in the next clip. <sighs> Mission accomplished. Ended up hitting four sets of two up to 335 pounds, which is my previous max. So even went up five pounds than what I was expecting to do in there. Did one less set. <sighs> That's okay. I am so tired. I am beat. But now I'm going to await my phone call that should be coming in in about 10 minutes or so. Have a little chat with this organization and then go home and shower and die. Hello, this is Jacob. I'm doing well. How are you doing, John? I uh, lived here my whole life, and I was raised in the church by my own choice and willingly for the past four years or so, and through those four years, it's really been an awesome experience. As I came to know the Lord, though, I wanted to use this passion and this gift that He's given me for video and use it for Him. All right, well, just got done with my phone call. 
talked for about an hour, um, a little over an hour, and it was very insightful and very good. We talked a lot about a lot of things, <laughs> and so it's very, very cool, very promising. I'm actually going to be leaving Carson City to go visit this area uh, in Missouri um, at the end of the month, and, and that's all the, the info I'll give out right now. I have learned all too well over the course of my life to keep things a little more mum about your, your business opportunities and whatnot, but, but I'm very, very excited about it, and it seems like a really, really awesome opportunity to be able to, to serve the Lord and, and to, to do something meaningful, as I've always talked about desperately wanting to do uh, for so long, so... Uh, very excited for that. But now I'm going to go home because I've been sweating profusely. <laughs> and uh, I'm ready to go get clean and go see a movie. So, <sighs> very exciting. Very exciting. Can you even hear me? <laughs> include that, <laughs> What did you think of the movie? It's amazing. It was so good. So good. I cried. <laughs> I was just, oh, I was just oh. gonna rat you out that you cried. <laughs> so funny. I it's didn't beautiful. cry. You're a liar. <laughs> Lie. It was so magical. It was beautiful. It's magical the right word? About no, don't, you're not allowed to cry. We're not in the theater anymore. What was your favorite part of the whole movie? Most definitely when she tells him she loves him. <laughs> And he changes that. And that's so cliche. That and when they danced, when they were dancing, that was good. The dancing was good. Also, when like the Ottoman thing tackled the lady down the stairs was awesome. Yeah. Spoilers. Obviously, we just ruined the whole movie or, for people. Or when Gaston and oh, what's his name? I already forgot. Le Lefou. Lefou. Yeah. Yeah. When he's like hugging, he's like, is that too much? Yeah. <laughs> It was really good, but I'm gonna put this away before we get like copyrighted for this massively loud music that we're playing in here. But out of ten, how much? How much would you give it? Ten. Ten. Point five. And she was complaining the whole time. It was different than the cartoon. That was so rude. That was so rude. <laughs> He just walked right up in the middle of our 10.5 out of 10. He does so hard. He's like, oh, okay. It's because of the paint. Exactly. It's the paint on the neck. Apparently, it's a lot different than the cartoon. Apparently. But it was so good. So good. 10 out of 10. 10.5. 10.5. That's a lot of points. So good. <laughs> Thank you.